the internal medicine specialist father of five who was beaten and dragged off an overbooked United flight as CEO Penn's tone deaf female defending staff. The passenger who was dragged from an United Airlines flight is 69-year-old grandfather Dr. David Dow. Footage of the Vietnamese-American being hauled off the overbooked flight at Chicago's O'Hare International Airport on Sunday caused outrage on Monday. Dr. Dow was heard in videos captured of his shocking eviction saying he needed to get home to Louisville so he could see patients. DailyMail.com can reveal Dr. Dow is a father of five and a grandfather, who specializes in internal medicine. Four of his five children are doctors. His wife Teresa, 69, is a pediatric and who trained at Ho Chi Minh University in Saigon and also practices in Elizabethtown, Kentucky about 40 miles south of Louisville. Their eldest son Tim, 34, practices medicine in Texas, their second son Ben, 31, is a medical graduate, their daughter Christine, 33, is a doctor in Durham, North Carolina, and their youngster daughter Angela, 27, is a medical graduate of the University of Kentucky. Their other daughter, Crystal, Christine's twin, is a married mother in Barrington, Illinois. Dr. Dow has previously worked at Harting Memorial Hospital and owned a medical practice. His identity has been revealed after United CEO Oscar Munoz doubled down on his airline crew's decision to remove an elderly passenger, claiming he was disruptive and belligerent. The airline is facing a furious backlash after footage emerged of the 69-year-old, bleeding heavily as he was pulled from the jet. Amidst the anger, Munoz issued a public apology saying he apologized for having to reaccommodate these customers. But in a private email to employees, the CEO defended the crew's actions, calling the passenger disruptive and belligerent and praising his staff for going above and beyond. Social media erupted immediately, labeling Munoz and United tone deaf and condescending. Munoz said that while he was upset to hear about the man being violently dragged off the flight, that airline crew had simply been following established procedures. The CEO described how flight crews had offered up to $1,000 in compensation for anyone willing to catch the next flight before approaching the passenger to explain apologetically that he was being denied boarding. He had then raised his voice and refused to comply with the crew's requests to leave the aircraft, and became increasingly disruptive and belligerent, he said. Our agents were left with no choice but to call Chicago aviation security officers to assist in removing the customer from the flight, he repeatedly declined to leave. Munoz added that the passenger refused to comply with the officers who then physically removed him from the flight as he continued to resist, running back onto the aircraft in defiance of both out-crew and security officials. Fischels, 